service industries as a whole have, uh, have had some real challenges. The Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Flint just opened last month. And like many other businesses, it's had to make some sacrifices. We made some proactive uh, adjustments uh, as far as staffing and, and being smart about uh, expenses. The Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association released data showing just how bad things will get without aid during this pandemic. As we near the end of this calendar year, uh, and you see that two thirds of hotels are uh, in serious jeopardy of closing, and more than a third of restaurants are uh, in jeopardy of closing permanently. That's around 5,600 restaurants and 850 hotels at risk. A grim statistic that the MRLA says lies in the hands of our elective leaders saying they need to act now before they leave for the holiday season. This is the last week that we see uh, Congress likely to be in as well as the Michigan legislature. So the, the, the pressure really is to ensure that, that they're taking the actions they need. As for the Hilton Garden Inn, its general manager says right now they're positioned in a good spot and prepared if things go south. We're prepared to uh, to uh, ride this out uh, with with the latest uh, vaccine announcements. Uh, that's that's a wonderful thing to hear. Hoping that the announcement of a new vaccine brings some much needed relief. Uh, hopefully soon uh, things can get back to normal, not just for us, but for for all businesses. I'm Jamie Sherrod, WNEM TV5.